the, oh, okay. the, what she's saying to you when you hear those words. What fucking? What's it, the it, immediate thing? What's am the, I offending you? What, what what goes through your head? What goes through your gut that you really want to say? Not to her in general, not to Kathleen in general, but to to that voice that makes you think you gotta buy a pussy. God damn, that's a good question. I mean, I, number one, I know you're not offending me, Kathleen. If I was offended, I wouldn't have called. But God, that's a good fucking question. How I mean, about? I, I, are, are you thinking you're not good enough? You yeah, you're right, Dante. I guess I am. But then, you know what, though, Kathleen? Look, there is a reality to what she's saying. I, if you're a little short, fat, so confidence is going to help you on a certain level. But if you're if you're shooting out of your league, you're going to most times get shot down. Like I, I know how I look at chicks, and I don't care how confident a fat chick is. Or how interesting she is. She's exactly. a fat soul with a great personality, <laughs> and I have no sexual desire. But that's exactly. Nah, that's you know what? This is an intelligent guy. That's a, that's he a, sounds reflective. He's he's got a lot going for him. I'm just saying. And you got to understand the nature a of a woman. They will now now Go with, now she's different. Kathleen is different. Yeah. But most women will fucking genuinely be attracted. To something other than yeah. like a fucking five ten feet three hundred pound bitch, yeah. she's in deep shit. Yeah. You understand? She's a fetish. Unless you're into fetishes, but a fat guy is never a fetish to a woman. Yeah. She's like, I love you. She the women love us for who we are, dude. And you have to just be. You have to like I say, my self esteem is so low that it's high. You have to fucking bring everybody down. With you, not by saying <laughs> hey, not by saying hey, you're you're no, a fucked up motherfucker. Ruin. You're a this, this and that. This don't listen nice to her. Guy. Don't this listen. Nice Do you guy. hear this? Don't. Nice guys finish how, nigga? Forty one without a girlfriend. You right. got, trust 41 me. Forty one on a Saturday night listening to your ass. Exactly, <laughs> nigga. Trust me. I was the fat guy who wrote poems. I said you're the greatest. Oof. Hey, you. Hey, you want to walk to the store with me? I buy you. I was that guy because I thought I had to be until I said the word bitch, which freed me. Once I started saying Lord, I'd say bitch. It freed me up because I say it righteously. Motherfuckers wonder how does Patrice call a girl bitch all the time, and and they never smack him. It's because I used to be the guy that goes, well, shut up. B bitch, Smack. and she'll go whack. Mm. I'm getting my brother to fuck you up. Wait a minute. And then I said, bitch, fuck, shut the fuck up, bitch. And she was, why I get my brother? Shut get your up. brother. You still a bitch, ho. <laughs> it's 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 what I want it to be. You know, here, like you know how like you have a, a you have a fat girl who lose weight, but she still has fat girl mentality. Right. She's still a loser. Right. You don't get that with a guy, mm -mm. but God loses weight. He's no longer a fat guy. If he ain't a fat guy, he's a cocky son of a bitch <laughs> trying to, and he and he's exercising his newfound power to get bitches. That's the bottom line. Uh, so you got to do what you got to do to make you feel, to make you feel confident. All right, Frank, man. Do, Good do, luck, dude. Do you have Good any luck to you, Frank. Frank. All right, take care. All right, take it easy. All right, we're gonna take a break, but we're gonna come back to um, we're gonna talk to um, John in Cincinnati after we come back from a break. Okay. All right. Women's power is in your fear of whatever they're going to do. Black Phillip. Fat-tongued mongoloid. Love, doctor. I told my girl she's the fourth most important thing in my life. So sensitive. It was me, my career, my Family. mother, and then her. Ooh, that's silk. She only thinks she knows shit because I tell her shit. Oh, wow. Keeping your pimp hands strong. I think my girl in my life is worth five bitches now. <laughs> hey, bitch, um, go get me some coffee. I'm so burn you with this cigarette. <laughs> Right. Now can you sit on my face and lick my nipple at the same time? Come on, you Jesus, you fat bitch, just bend. Listen, sit on my face and lick my nipple. Why can't you do that? See, this is what the fuck I'm saying. Never mind. Just fucking never mind. Just lay there and watch me jerk off. You're, you're fucking useless. God, you can't fuck. Thank you, sweetie, for sitting on my face. Thanks, but not you can't lick my nipple. So basically, 
See, this is why I'm saying I, I want another girl. I want another girl in this so she can lick my nipples. You can't sit on my face and lick my nipple at the same time. That's why I'm trying to do a threesome. But I'll don't taste you, yoga. Don't you see what I'm trying to fucking do? Don't you see? I'll stretch out and do yoga. I just need another bitch to lick my nipple. That's it. Jesus. That's how you introduce a threesome. <laughs> Make a bitch do two things she can't do. Baby, baby, kiss me and lick my asshole. You can't? What do you mean you can't kiss me and lick my asshole? You know what? This ain't going to work out. I, I, you don't want to do a threesome. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, baby, jerk me off and fuck me. What? <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to the Black Phillips Show with Patrice O'Neal. <laughs> Black fucking pillow. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh shit. And uh Mr. Opie, thank you so much for being so into the show that you're just having a party on Wednesday. <laughs> it, it's the most annoying thing I've ever fucking seen. Why don't you just fall asleep? I like to be in here in the th in the fucking chair one day and Opie's like, hey, and, and I just uh, I just get on the table and actually put all the newspapers in a pillow and fall asleep. <laughs> For once, I don't have to worry about anything. So I'm, I'm just like hanging out. Monk, monkeys and cigars. And like, fucking. I'm just entertaining the pal walkers out there, man. Putting beer bottles on <laughs> fucking ass. Are right, we going to go to another call, man? Where the right. fuck are we? Who are you talking to this motherfucker? I promise somebody. Oh, John from Cincinnati, that nigga. John, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, Patrice? Greetings from one soldier to another good soldier. God damn it. We opening up uh, Pimps R Us. Pimps are uh, Pimpco. Uh, Dante is union uh, chief, <laughs> and I uh, I have I hand out the cards. And uh, Kathleen stands outside with that whiny voice and fucking <laughs> says, "This is I wrong to have pimps." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Edward G. Robinson voice with titties. I'm not fucking a fat guy, see? I'm not 39. Eat my pussy. See? I I like that fat guy. He had that fat guy wisdom. But you wouldn't fuck him. Exactly. No, he's too fat. Fuck off. I'm telling you. I would, but his belly button. Your belly button smells like fish cake. Patrice, <laughs> you're at. Would you, you, you don't get no pussy looking like that, girl. see? You're not having much of grapefruit in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, dude. Uh, it's all right, dude. All right, here's the situation. All right, I've been dating this girl for uh, about a year. Uh, I dated her before I broke up with her, got back together with her. All right, man. Like, and I, I bring I bring the pimp hand hard, but I, I I fuck this girl real hard. Like, you know, I do everything I can. I hit it like I, I really want it. I bring the wood. Okay. I'll make this girl bust probably like two or three times. Okay. But literally, I have stamina that you know I need I need a girl to fucking ride it out with me. Okay. But like about halfway through, she says she wants to quit and she doesn't want to like finish me off. My question is: Is this some kind of like psychological thing where she's saying, you know what? I have control over you that, you know, I control how, you know, what we do sexually. No, because you're fucking, it sounds like you're fucking the way you want to fuck. You understand? Yeah. But what it, what it sounds like is that it's two things. Either you're not as fantastic as you think you are. Maybe your yes. dick is too big. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, she or she's selfish. But it doesn't sound like she's selfish because she, she's you're, fucking her, ride with you. you're fucking her the way you want. So you might have to really, you're not giving her, you might not be giving her what she really wants. Like the way she's getting off, it may not be how she wants to get off. Because usually when you get a woman off the way she likes, the competitive nature in a woman, she wants to get you off back. She wants to make sure you're happy. So basically, she's letting you pump away until she can't. You, you know, and she can't take it no more. So she's had enough of it. Yeah. She, you, you might want to... Can I ask you, how... Do you have an exceptionally large penis? Ugh. Well, You yeah, have a big I dick? Mean, not... <laughs> Hold on. Could you ask that in a less sexy way? <laughs> Excuse me. Is that baby wrecking appendage on the end of you bigger than normal? <laughs> Man, I'll bet you a helmet, see? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> 
Well, here's the, here's the thing. I'm as big as I'm not as big as Patrice. I'm six five, but I'm like two thirty. Oh, you're in shape. Uh, mil- okay. Yeah, I'm Slim. a military dude. But you know what? I, I I wouldn't say that I have. I mean, exceptionally large, but yeah. And she's not a she's not a small girl. I mean, but still. Basically, what she's complaining at is that she hurt after a while. She but gets sore. Yeah, oh, okay. She, 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 your dick is too big. You're, you're, Eros. You're, you're ramming her like a fucking animal. Just here's what you do: one good night, just eat a twat, right? Until yeah, you know, get, go ahead. I did that though. I did that. See, this is what happened. I ate her pussy like an animal, like perfect. Okay. Got her off two or three times. And Patrice, like you're saying, the last time the competitive shit. She did come back and, and gave me the best blowjob I've ever had in my life. 